What the hell? Troll it is. Huh? <laughs> I'm kidding. Resin is expensive. <laughs> Get the fuck, shut the fuck up. Gentlemen, welcome to today's very quick unboxing review. And today is not about toys. Today is about unboxing my first resin SLA 3D printer. Yeah. Although I've been in the 3D printing community for many years, but this is the first time I got my own resin printer. Actually, back in 2018, I bought an FDM printer from China. But the worst part is there is no after sales service. Everything I have to learn by myself on how to fix the bed level, you know, the nose is stuck, how am I going to fix it? Lots of problems. So eventually I became an expert in FDM printer. But after a year, I started to get tired about it because of the, the print surface. A lot of printing layer because I couldn't manage to calibrate a good setting for my FDM printer. And at that time, I started to get few 3D print orders which I passed to my outsourced contact, those printing factory from China, and the price is pretty reasonable. I always wanted to support locals. So before I passed to the outsourced printing factory in China, I asked around a lot of printing provider from Malaysia, but the price is really high. For the same model, both I quote from China and in local, the price difference is about five times higher in Malaysia. So it's not that I don't want to support local, but because all these are clients' orders and most of them don't really want to pay so high for 3D printing orders. So I have no choice. I have to use my outsource from China and even include shipping from China to Malaysia still way cheaper than printing in Malaysia. And all those videos that you watch are all from my outsource China, all my own collection, clients orders, all are from China factory. But now I have my own printer, I can print whatever I want for myself. And I've been searching for a huge desktop SLA printer. I've been comparing few brands and the final comparison is between Phenom and Frozen. But I saw a lot of people using Frozen and the best part is I managed to find a seller in Malaysia and not just in Malaysia, it's just very very nearby my office in Johor Bahru, Malaysia. And he's an expert, he's been selling for many many years the Frozen brand printer and I believe that he can provide a very good after sales service, which he did. He share a lot of knowledge. Don't need to buy those ultrasonic washer to wash your prints and don't need to buy those UV box to cure your prints. So he actually give a very honest advice to me to save more money because the printer is quite expensive and I always love to print big prints. So this one is just nice for me. And the moment he tell me the price and takes about two to three weeks time to deliver to me, I immediately pay him in full amount. And after two weeks, I think today he's gonna deliver the printer to me. Woo! So without further ado, let's check out the unboxing process and how is my first print gonna be? Is it successful or is this gonna be a failed print to waste a lot of my resin? Let's find it out. Let's go. This is so big. I thank Boon King to deliver this to me personally. I will say that the packaging by Frozen is really good, okay? Everything is intact, no damage, no dented, but it's very, very heavy. Let's take out all the things. These are the accessories, the form. Okay, let's check the vet. The cable, they got two cable, okay? And the uh, bed, I call it bed. The screen looks okay, everything okay. I'm not very familiar with SLA because every time all my 
3D print orders I passed to the outsource okay so this is my first time I gotta learn everything as much as I can because it's very new to me I only have an FDM printer before and now I'm asking him how to do the slicing on the Chitu box and thank you Boon King as far as I know it's quite similar to the FDM setting okay we set up the supports and then slice it transfer to the thumb drive a pen drive and start printing it and this will be my first test print the captain america head and looks good the resin i'm using is actually the red clay okay chinese they call it hong la you can see the details more uh more details on the surface and Boon King actually print another the hanger for me to let it drip don't waste those resin okay and make sure nothing is on top of the bed let's check out the quality not bad and at this time i don't have the alcohol so i'm using a thinner to wash it i must wash off those resin on the surface okay uh so far Boon King told me that don't need to buy those ultrasonic washer just buy two pale or the very deep metal plate to wash it with those alcohol 95 percent and above what i'm using is actually the 99 percent and let's go for the second print so far so good okay take out all it's quite easy for the red clay to remove from the bed but this one i think i didn't place enough support here so i have to reprint again you see the big hole and i'm very lazy to fix it and this one is using the frozen gray aqua aqua gray resin i'm using a glove the resin is toxic it's very hard to remove because it's such big prints <laughs> very tiring my god Whew remove those supports and then I wash it with the alcohol you saw at the back there now looks better actually I combine two parts together by using a mesh mixer instead of printing separately for the body parts yes again wash again I wash it two times first is for the resin and another time is for a second wash make it more clean and for this shoe this is my second attempt because the first one actually failed let's see is it successfully printed yeah i think it is look at those supports so much money there oh my god looks good this shoe is huge because i print it in one fourth scale and now let's check all prints okay still need to do a little bit of sanding and this one one big hole I'm gonna share that how I always I usually fix all those failed prints because resin is expensive okay I'm not a rich kid money doesn't fall from sky so this is my favorite one the Akposi Patti this brand is slightly cheaper than the Tamiya one but uh, I think it's okay for the quality okay just fill up all the hole and you see those I mean wrinkles on the pants or the arms the jacket you just follow the line okay scalp it and with it dry i know how to fix all these field prints when i had my first fdm printer because it's got a lot of field prints and i don't waste a lot of time or the filaments to reprint again so i pick it up on how to fix all these holes or this uh fail prints and i'm gonna glue it first because you see the seam line yeah i'm gonna apply putty for those seam line as well because i don't want when i finish painting the whole figure then when i do all parts together the seam line is there it's obvious so it doesn't look really good for the shield the key is actually uh broken when I print it, so I put a metal rod and stuck it into the back of Captain America. I can't wait to see the entire thing with the bite and the base. Okay, let's put on a primer to check out the details again. Because grey color, you can see which part got uh, defects like this, you see. 
it's not sand properly or evenly so we gotta sand again put on primer and keep doing that and now let's check out the bike yeah for the bike i don't want to use my frozen printer because uh got a lot of parts okay so i'm using my usual outsource to help me to print this in whole piece and it looks great the details are so good the surface are so smooth and this is a harley davidson bike and as for the base as well it's so big so i asked spoon king to help me print it this uh in fdm okay a very much more affordable price to print the base because i don't really want to shorten my lcd lifespan and this is how it looks like when we assemble this the one fourth scale captain america by mars studio from thailand it's beautiful superb So how is it? I think this is the biggest 3D print that I ever did and it's printed by myself. Woo! Of course excluding the bike and the base because I don't want to shorten my LCD screen's life. But it can manage to print it well because this Sonic Mega is so big and for those who are still considering whether to get an SLA resin printer or not, I think that it might be very troublesome to do all those post processing don't worry the video show that it's quite easy although this printer cost me a lot of money but i think it's really really fun and frozen's marketing is doing very good and their after sales service should be okay because i'm not dealing with them i'm dealing with the seller and if you really have a budget i think you can try buying this and if you really like big prints if not you can just buy a smaller one to buy frozen and today's video is a little bit long so i didn't include the painting together in this video if you like to see my painting process on this the huge one fourth scale captain america on bike don't forget to subscribe and follow my other social media i'll list it in the captions below once again thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe give me a like on this button and i'll see you guys next time goodbye